Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube is your boy True Films back at it again with another video. Today we are doing a different type of video. Today we are going to do my OBS settings. A couple people have been asking me what settings I use for open broadcaster software and today I'm going to show you. This is a video for the person who wants to record their gameplay with a normal computer. This is a video for somebody who doesn't have one of those super nice, expensive, nice PC builds or like a really nice gaming laptop. This is for the everyday person who has a regular computer just like me. My computer is an Acer Aspire V5. It has an Intel Core i5 processor, a terabyte of hard drive space. Um, not anything special at all so this is a video for you guys out there that have normal computers just like me no super computers no super builds this will be a video to show you guys what settings i use in open broadcaster to help me bring the best video content to you so let's get into it so and this will not be a video showing you how to set these things up down here these are sources all you do to set these up is go to add and then you pick your source that's for a different video if you want me to make a video to show you how to add all your sources for xbox recording type in the comment section below but let me know guys so let's get right into it so to get into your settings you can click here the settings button or you can come up here to settings and click settings right here i usually do it like this so all you do is play with these settings man it's taken me literally years to figure out the perfect settings for my pc but i think i've got the best ones that i can have so here on the general tab you don't do anything here this is just normal unless you're not um from america then you can change your language to wow a lot of different things <laughs> okay but all this stuff you can you know you can play with if you want to I don't do any of that encoding this is a huge tab this is where the magic happens really this is a big part of your stream right here right here for encoder I use the x264 if you have this I would use this I use CBR I enable CBR padding as well my max bitrate guys this is a big number this is is something that you have to calculate you have to do you have to experiment with on your own 3000 is the magic number for me for whatever reason I have pretty good internet um so you know if you have a less less strong internet connection then you might want to take this number down a little bit or if your internet connection is one of the stronger ones and you might want to take it up a little bit and see what it does i do not use a custom buffer size i just keep that off down here in auto audio encoding codec aac the format is 48 kilohertz the bit rate is 128 the channel we are on is stereo i just changed that so let's keep that at 128 and let's go to the next tab, the broadcast settings. Here is where you can choose if you want to live stream or file output only. I'm, of course, live streaming. My um, platform I live stream on is YouTube Gaming, but you can do all kinds. You got custom Twitch, Vaughn Live, Good Game, Daily Motion, YouTube, Cyber, Hitbox, kind of all of these places you can live stream to. But like I said, I'm on YouTube. Here is you can switch the server. Um, you want to be on the primary, of course. This is your stream key. Stream key. That is something you find once you set up your live stream in your ingestion ingestion settings. Ingestion settings. <laughs> I'm not saying that right, but who cares? That is unique to your live stream. Nobody else can have that. That's a big deal right there. That is your stream key. Keep that confidential. Don't let anybody ever see that. Auto reconnect. Yes, you want to auto reconnect. 10 seconds it takes to auto reconnect. I don't check any of these. I don't check this. Um, this mm -hmm. is where you can change the output. All you have to do in this, if you want to change the output, is put .mp4. It's that easy. If you want to record, just change that to .mp4. And that'll put it out in a mm -hmm. .mp4 mm -hmm. video that you can use in pretty much any type of video software um replay buffer length is two seconds and there's the path where it goes to i did not change that at all either so let's go to the next one 
next one is video I use the Intel HD graphics family like I said this is super super basic nothing amazing about this base resolution is 1280 by 720p that gives you 720p HD video if you have a nice computer then you can crank this all the way up to 1980 by 1280 but I don't have a nice computer I have the basic computer so I'm bringing you video in 720p HD here's where you can change that we are keeping that right where that is aspect ratio is 16 by 9 bilinear fastest FPS 30 if you're not like I said this is for the normal person normal computer so keep your frames per second at 30 always keep that at 30 here's the audio section you can check one of these I wouldn't check that I would leave that the same I use the blue Yeti stereo stereo microphone you can come in here and pick your microphone force microphone auxiliary model don't do that show only connected devices you can click that these I don't think I changed too much push to talk delay is 200 desktop boost is one mic boost this is where you can change you can really boost your mic right here if you don't think your mic is loud enough you can crank this up to like you know like 10 and you can hear the difference like really quickly like hey I'm sure I'm super loud now but I'm gonna take that back down to two we're gonna leave that at two and then mic sync offset in milliseconds is 500 that's my audio section in hot keys I do not touch these at all I don't know much about hot keys but like I said I don't use them don't touch them leave them the same here's another super special big tab it is the advanced tab so this is where you can change a lot of settings with your stream and you can help out your stream or video a lot I use multi-threaded optimization optimizations process priority classes above normal above normal scene buffering time is at 500 milliseconds just like it was in the audio disable encoder my preview and I do not do that allow other modifiers on hotkeys don't know why I have that checked but it works my x24 my x264 CPU preset is ultra fast the higher you put this the slower your computer is so like I said this is for the the normal people who have the regular computers so I have mine on ultra fast it works for me guys give yours a try encoding profile is main key frame interval seconds is two two seconds I use CFR I do not use this I used to use this the custom x264 encoder settings I do not use that anymore though I encode in full range I have that checked I do not have that checked because I can't my computer like I said this is for those normal computers so we don't want to allow anything over 60 frames per second that would just be outrageous under the audio section I don't check any of that network I have automatic low latency mode checked my bind to interface is default latency tuning factor is at 20 so these are pretty much all of my settings man these are my settings like I, I don't come in here and mess with anything in quick sync encoder because I'm not using that I'm using the x24 browser I don't know what that is I've never been in there before microphone noise gates I have never messed with any of this stuff either and scene switcher when the switch window don't switch is the only thing I have checked in here so I'll just go down here one more time guys and Cody max bit rate this is the big thing on here 3000 that's a special number that's a special number it takes a long time to figure out what the correct number is but just try it just try try different numbers you'll find the one that works eventually 264 CBR CBR padding no custom buffer size broadcast settings I'm live on YouTube gaming there's the uh, primary ingest server there's my stream key video we are at 1280 by 720 1280 by 720 16 by 9 30 frames per second audio there's my blue Yeti that's the only thing I change in there hot keys like I said we don't mess with and there's showing you those guys one more time process priority class above normal scene buffering times at 500 and ultra fast main and two and we use CFR encode in full range and we are in automatic low latency mode 
So guys, those are my OBS settings. Like I said, I didn't show you how to set these things up, but in here, like if I come in here, this is my Elgato Game Capture HD. That's my capture card. These are my Twitch alerts, donator. This is my webcam. The um, My webcam is not connected right now, <laughs> but I have a, a Logitech. But these are all these sources. Like I said, if you want me to make a video about how to add these and set those up type in that comment section below let me know i hope this video helped you guys out make sure to smack that subscribe button if you haven't already smack that like button before you get out of here guys and remember stay too true i'll see you guys in the next video peace what's going on true crew appreciate you guys checking out this video make sure before you get out of here to smack that like button and i will see you guys at the next live stream or video peace